hope you liked this video before you even watched it my name is Bekana and I create lifestyle travel and real estate related content here in Jamaica so if you haven't subscribed already please hit that subscribe button so I'm on the phone with digital right now um, and I'm pretty sure I should be pressing Oh jeez, I'm all right. At least we'll redo the process together. Um, I'm calling them because, and I've zoomed in. Ooh, the lighting here is so dark. Don't judge me, guys. I'm so sorry. Um, I've called them because I want to change. Obviously, I move. I keep saying obviously. I think that's so rude. I'm moving, and um, I want to change my internet over to the new location. So I got an 888 number for Flo because I don't have a digital chip. That's what I have. So I'm going to JPS tomorrow. And if I have, I know a couple of people that work for Digicel. Hi, good afternoon. Um, I'm moving and I want to move the Digicel. I've never done this before, so um, this is the number I got from the in-store location. Okay. Yes. And I'm, yeah, I want to move the, the internet to another address. And who am I speaking with today? Bikana Brown. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Bikana. Thank you for clicking on this video. I create lifestyle, travel, and real estate videos here in Jamaica. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit the subscribe button, like this video, and drop a comment below and let me know what you think about this house. So come on in with me. We're heading into the living room. There's gonna be an echo because there's nothing in here, but it's my new space, so welcome. This is what it's looking like. Um, you know, we have some outlets. I have to get the, the thing to put back over because it's freshly painted, and you guys know I don't really like loud colors, so this neutral color is super perfect. Um, this is something that I hate. I'm gonna tell you from now because I know people are gonna come in and talk about it. But I'm gonna put some tables here and cover it up with lamps and either picture frames or something to just hide them. But this is where the couch is gonna go, the TV is gonna go over there. Um, yeah, so let's get stepping. It's three bedrooms, um, but we're gonna get to those later. Let's go straight into the kitchen and then I'll bring you back to the bathroom and the bedrooms. So the door is open. I have a pretty spacious backyard, but this is the kitchen, which needs some cleaning, which I will get to. I haven't moved in yet. And um, it needs some TLC in the sense of like refurbishing. So I might, you know, do some little work with the cabinets, change out the handles, and probably change out some of these for the sink. The, mirror, the window is um, a little bit hard to open, so I'm going to have to have somebody come and fix it so I can open it. And then my stove is going to go over here. And the fridge is going to go in this area. I think I'm going to remove the pipe because I won't be getting a washing machine yet. Um, and put the stove, the, the fridge, right in this area because you know I'm a snack on a meal anyways that was yeah anyways big up to the camera woman Sashana big hey. up to the camera <laughs> so we're gonna go I think I'm gonna put my dining table like somewhere right here I think that would be kind of cute to transition from living dining into kitchen yeah all right let's go check out the bedrooms and the bathroom so I'm not going to bring you guys directly into the bathroom. I'm just going to have a glimpse of it because it is very dark and it needs to be cleaned. So when I do the bathroom and get some lights in here, I'm going to show you guys what it looks like better. 
So this is the back bedroom, bedroom number three. It is very spacious. You can fit like a queen size bed in here. Um, this bedroom leads into another back room, but I'll be using that for storage. So this is what it looks like. Nice little room. Has two sockets. Gonna move into the second bedroom, which is more like a transitional room. So if you were a couple and you had a kid, this would kind of be the perfect room to put like a newborn baby or a two-year-old. It's pretty big and on a more sunny day, it's very, very bright. So this room has two sockets as well. This is what it looks like. And again, I apologize for the echo. But we're gonna go into bedroom number one, which will be my bedroom. It has the most lighting. I think this is a west-facing house. So I think the, the sun will probably be set on this side, but I'll have to find out and put it in here. Um, I think it room is very spacious, very cute. It has very modern windows, and I love the color. I will put something to block this breaker box. Unfortunately, it is in this bedroom, so I'm gonna have to find something to cover it up. And if you have any recommendations, drop a comment down below and let me know what you cover that up with. But um, yeah, this is it, and it was a pretty quick walk through. Then we're gonna go out on the veranda, but my camera woman is not gonna show you guys um, what behind her looks like. But this is just like the veranda area which is really nice, really bright. Yes, I have all this stuff here. <laughs> but I um, can do some yoga out here, workout, relaxation, and I've already brought my plant. So welcome to my house, and I hope you stick with me as I decorate it and get comfortable in the space I will call a home. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Alright guys, I'm at JPS right now and I'm trying to get a meter for the new place that I'm moving to. The number I have is 82 and they're at 71. There isn't much people out here. So hopefully I get through, you know, quickly. Um, it's kind of empty. But yeah, this is what it's looking like at this location, which is on Ruth Ben Road. It's not far from... Um, from half a tree and trafalgar road and those areas like that's half a tree road so yeah i'll just wait and keep you updated and let you know how long it takes for me to get inside okay guys so i just finally got through but i didn't really get through so unfortunately i'm gonna have to come back to jps probably tomorrow if i can get everything i need to get from the owner then i will come back before they close today i will try my best to do that um i've called digicel um the only thing now i can do is wait with digicel and they have to set it up when there's light there so everything is really dependent on jps so what i'm gonna do now is go over back to portmore um pack up the car some more clean try clean out some of the rooms pack up small things and then head back to the house and uh, you know try clean up the house as well like you know the bathtub the sinks those areas and then try sweep out mop up wipe up etc etc i filmed my um i filmed my empty house tour so i hope you like it i hope you left a like i hope you left a comment i hope you're subscribed the notification bell is on you know the vibes so i'm gonna hit the road now it's turning out to be around 12 i really need to move in by this weekend so hopefully everything goes great um yeah thank you intending to go over to Portmore but some things came up and now 
at 3.43, I'm leaving JPS. So all together, the whole time that I spent the whole time that I spent in JPS was about oh my god inside of JPS itself like sitting waiting paying and etc etc speaking to someone was about five hours so that's crazy but it's Jamaica um, I'm heading to Portmore now because I just honestly like I have a video that I've been trying to get up for the past couple days and I know you guys must be mad at me but I'm really trying to keep a schedule and stick to it so this week and this video that you're seeing is not on our usual schedule but Wednesday <clears throat> Sunday God, I didn't lock my door Sunday Wednesday and Friday is our upload days so don't get it twisted don't miss those days those are the days when we as a family as a b squad member come together and watch the videos and support but i'm on the way over to pull more i hope you like that drone footage because i'm gonna put it in right when i took it um so excited to get more drone footage for you guys let me know what you want to see from the sky um like be very specific don't just say river beach like give me some places that you want to see from the air and i'll do my best to get them to you anyways i'm gonna wind this window down enjoy the music enjoy the breeze and enjoy some time to myself i'll see you guys when i get to pull more JPS told me that it was a smart meter and that the light should have been on by yesterday. I have a bulb in there. I know the bulb is working. Haha, <laughs> look at the camera body. Um, and it's not, it's not working. And I need to go check. I need to plug this in because plug this out. I'm not about to have them charge me for this. <laughs> I don't know if it's me. The breaker box. So I'm going to try. I think they're all facing the right way. I just, I don't know and I can't move in cause there is no light and Digicel has not gotten back to me yet. So this is what I've been, I don't know what to do. So I'm just gonna end this part right here.
You think this not gonna vlog? They are beaten. Ah. Okay, guys. So in the next clip, I'm gonna show you basically an empty walkthrough of my old apartment because I didn't get to show you guys what it looks like. I just washed up the sink, washed out inside the cupboards up there. Um. I mopped the whole downstairs, the stairs, all of upstairs, um, cleaned up the bedrooms, bathroom. <laughs> I did what I was supposed to do. Um, when I got the apartment for rent the first time, the landlord did not cut the backyard. So um, I was actually gonna go cut it because I've been gone for about a month. Um, a month and like a week I've been gone for. Um, so I was gonna go cut get somebody to cut the backyard and i was talking to my mom and she was like cut it for what and i'm like i was just gonna cut it because whatever kyle is calling me let me finish this little story um yes yeah, so i was gonna cut it and mommy's like how did you get it and i was like you know that's right i did get the place very messy but the least i can do is clean up after myself but the backyard was horrendous when i got it so mommy's like leave it Anyways, let me answer Kyle and I'll show you guys what the place looks like in the next clip. Hello? Alright guys, so this is basically it. It looks much better with stuff in it, I promise. But it's a townhouse um, and it's a two-story townhouse. This was the living area. Um, sorry, I don't know why it's going out of focus. Okay, I apologize about that. So, it is a living, dining, kitchen, an open concept, townhouse. Um, yeah, there was a lot that the landlord had to fix, which didn't get to be fixed when I was here. Um, one of the reasons why I'm leaving. So, I hope for the next tenant that more things are fixed. Um, there's a veranda right in front, well, right behind me where I'm standing right now. There's a play field. Um, if you recognize the townhouse, then you probably know the area. Um, but yeah, it's very big. Not gonna lie, it's a very nice, decent space. So this is the kitchen area. It's not much storage at all. Not much, but it looks nice. I made sure I cleaned out all of these so nobody could call my name <laughs> nobody could say anything you can't really see but one thing i did like is this countertop i think this countertop looks nice um but yeah there's just a lot that needed to be done but for the most part this is what it was looking like and i wasn't upset very nice window um there's a light in the kitchen and one light over there so let's head upstairs the backyard is the backyard <laughs> very decent size it's actually a very large backyard and very large front yard but anyways let's head upstairs there's two bedrooms and one bathroom um there's a light switch right there and this is the bedroom that me and kyle kyle and i repainted white um yeah memories you know made some memories in here so i'm kind of sad to see it go i'm just trying to use my hand back to focus the room let's go into the second room real quick as it is dark so i'm just gonna i wish i didn't take out the light bulb but i i'm not gonna go get it it is quite the size a little bit smaller than this room see one of the things i had problem with was the tiles and they weren't willing to change the tiles um so please if you are a landlord update your house you know these tiles granted like a lot of older people and when i say older i mean older people like tiles like this but update your floors and there's paint splatter but anyways so then you have the bathroom um sparkling white because i cleaned it uh yeah that was it i'm not gonna go into too much detail as the landlord is on his way and i need to take my bells out of the room 
um so i'm gonna do that uh, anyways a lot of memories made here turn the light off gonna wait for it to cool down a little bit actually let's see oh yeah i'm gonna wait for it to cool down a little bit i'm gonna grab my bulb right here um i don't think he left me with any bulbs in this place when i moved in i had to buy all of them myself so i'm taking all my bulbs to my new place and i got these from mega mart i did buy some bulbs when i was in america um they were supposed to be energy saving bulbs very cost effective um but the mega mart mega mart white light bulbs are really nice as well i recommend them a hundred percent um especially if you film youtube videos you're gonna want your light to be white um except instead of yellow because oh jesus it's kind of hot let me go get something from the car um so what i'm saying is yellow bulbs give you kind of a um, oversaturated look in your videos and white light just brightens up your videos a lot more so if you're having problems with your video being dark think about changing your light bulbs so i'll see you guys in the next clip peace out i'm sweaty i look a hot mess other than that i would have shown you myself but yeah another thing um, i'm gonna grab my internet and my ex adapter and yeah so this is it um this is the place i called home for nine months obviously me and mommy are building our own house in country but we do plan to buy a house together in kingston um and then work on it ourselves so looking forward to that in the future um but yeah building your home is the best way and owning your home is the best way to go peace out thank you guys for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe <laughs>
so I asked him um, okay when is this person supposed to show up he said tomorrow I'm like is there a time frame because you know even with internet I'm pretty sure digital and flow does this where they'll tell you in between such and such time or they'll say somebody will call you ahead of time to schedule with you or whatever they do that they do it in Jamaica and they do it in America so I guess JPS doesn't because he just said oh there is no schedule um, there is no um, time or whatever whatever the person will just show up I'm like so I'm supposed to stay at a building with no light for the whole day and nine out of the ten times they don't show up they don't show up in your whole day is wasted sitting there waiting for someone who's not gonna come so I said okay then whatever fine I'll, I'll go there I'll stay there cuz I'm the one that need the lights um so I ask can I at least have the person's information who will come because with the atmosphere now people are killing women like crazy in Jamaica and other Caribbean countries and Latin American countries and America and Europe and whatever but for the specific part I live here and I'm going to be there relatively by myself at the time that the person is supposed to come I won't be there by myself guys don't think I'm living alone I'm not um, but for this purpose, I will be there tomorrow by myself. So I'm like, can I have the person's information? You know how it is now. Like, I need to know who's just going to randomly show up. Um, oh, you can just ask the person for their ID tomorrow. So I'm like, wow. Okay. I see how it's wrong. So I called mommy and I vented to her and she's like, welcome to Jamaica. Which is true and it's so sad. Um, it's so unfortunate because... I really would have loved to ask some of these people if I could interview them on their perspective but I didn't want to overstep because we're all already angry already so you want to hear everybody and I kid you not you want to hear everybody it's like frustrating one lady went downtown this is half a tree one lady went downtown deal with her business come back and still had to wait about an hour and a half before they let her inside that is ridiculous like that's absolutely crazy to me but anyways um i'm not here to stress out nobody or complain complain too much because i guess when people complain in jamaica there's a problem we don't have freedom of speech or the right to assert ourselves um our voice our opinions so i just we move i just hope the person show up tomorrow because i have to stay like either with chad or i have to stay over by sash and i don't want to feel like i'm imposing and i know they're my family I, I don't need to feel like i'm imposing but that's how it feels like you all know what it feels like when you have your own place and you want to be in your own space that's how it feels so anyways that was a bit of a ramble it's just so it's just upsetting because then when people when you talk about it and I've known different different people like I've known Anisha have talked about certain things Ibi from soy vlogs have talked about certain things and people tell us to shut up and like go back to where we come from as if we're not from Jamaica yeah anywho on to the next clip I'm gonna go buy something at the supermarket so I'm gonna just sit in my wallow and self-pity and then I'll see you guys at the supermarket The supervisor was meant to call me back and it's been an hour and I haven't received a call back it's an emergency I paid for internet well um light connection last week and um, two days now an individual is supposed to come and never showed up and I still don't have light and I have absolutely nowhere to live Here's your 
calling to follow up on a connection. Happy to assist you. Do apologize for the note of I've been experienced. And may I have your name? Bikana Brown. Do you want me to spell the first name? Sure. B as in boy. I C A N A Brown. Guys, I apologize for my appearance. Appearance, I mean. <laughs> but guys, JPS, it's been five days that I've paid JPS for my lights. And they have not. You're have not guys gotten back to me well I'm the one that had to call I'm on the phone with them now and as you heard earlier um give me a second so I'm still not getting through to a supervisor so what I'm going to do is to have the matter escalated for a supervisor to give you a call back as well as a follow up being done on the connection to see your best they can assist with having a technician sent and may i have your contact number please it's on the system I've, it's on the system um but there's absolutely no supervisor there right now not getting through to an available supervisor i'll wait right but since i'm not getting through i'll have one give you a call back this would make the second person know that should be calling me back but one should have called back by now Good morning, beautiful people. Um, can't really remember where or how we left the I do. I do. Um, anywho, another morning. Another beautiful day to have low battery. <laughs> wow, I'm gonna make this quick because I won't be able to do much things. I'm going to JPS and I'm gonna try to get there early. There's a bag of traffic right now on the way into half a tree. But I'm trying to get there early so I can at least have someone come by today. Um, but I'm actually just really, really sad that there's still no light. But God bless me. We'll see what we can get accomplished today. And I will just come back and fill you in. Alright guys, so before my battery tells me that it's about to die. Having one light company in Jamaica should be illegal. Like it really should be illegal like this is this is out of this world this is ghetto this is third world country problem i don't like that so i guess <laughs> um but one employee was very nice she literally it be that one employee it be that one employee that's super duper nice so i left today very hopeful so we'll see We'll see. Digicel still said they want to come by and at least start to set things up, but I'm gonna need light. But anyways, peace out guys and thank you for watching this vlog. I hope you like, comment, and subscribe and pray for me, sis. Pray for me. <laughs> Alright? Peace out.